Hey guys, Ryan Mayne here, back with another figure review. Today it is on the Star Wars Black Series, Episode 7, The Force Awakens, Kylo Ren figure. Got this off of uh, um, Amazon. Um, was trying to get them on Force Friday, but even online, most places, Target, uh, Walmart, Kmart, Toys R Us, were all sold out. They have everything else, but they don't have the Black Series figures. But anyway... Got them for a good price on eBay, so I'm happy. Um, go through this quickly. See that it says Star Wars Black Series. No Episode Seven logo or anything on it. Um, has a picture of you know, Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren right there. I keep saying it wrong. There it is, Ky Kylo Ren right there. Has Rome warning labels. Side here says Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren. I'm in white, almost grayish white, and in red right there. And on the other side, it says number three in the series. Red, kind of a Ren. Uh, Star Wars logo, number three, kind of a Ren. Picture, same picture, just the face of it. And it says Kylo Ren, a dark warrior, strong with the Force. Kind of a Ren. Kind of a Ren commands first order missions with a temper as fury as his unconventional lightsaber. So, and some warning labels and stuff. Disney logo. And some warnings on the bottom there. So yeah, let's quick, take a quick break here. Get out of the package, see everything comes with, and detail articulation of the figure. So here's Kylo Ren out of the package. Pretty awesome looking figure. Um, pretty fun to display. Uh, clothes and everything. He only comes with one accessory, so let me get into that now. Get it all the time. See it already, but... Comes with a lightsaber. Controversial lightsaber because he's got more like a traditional sword than it is a uh, the usual lightsaber. And this does come off, this detaches like so, so that's kind of neat. So there's no storage for it, but I guess you can have him holding it if you'd rather him have an unignited lightsaber. Mine's a little warped as you can see here, but you know, if it really bugs me that bad, I can just uh, blow dry it, hot water trick should work pretty fine um and you know it's nicely detailed so that looks pretty cool and it fits in his hand pretty well you can see uh, put this back together um and then I will there As you can see there fits in this hand pretty well and then I guess I can put it in this hand too if you want to there you go. I think it fits better in this hand, though. But still looks pretty cool. So, and, uh, you know, let me get into the actual detail of the figure now. So, it's pretty cool. Nicely detailed. I like the mask here. It's not much to say other than it's gold. I mean, uh, silver bits right there. It's got some nicks in it. It's pretty cool. He has this mesh hood. I like that. It's pretty cool. Um, it's got this little piece on the back here. It's pretty nice. There's a, you know little thing on his wrap there and you know lift that up he's got a little skirt thing he's here it's nice it's nice to be sculpted his pants boots it's not much to go on when it comes to actual coloring so but the sculpt here is pretty nice so looks pretty cool I like it so you know let's get into the actual articulation now all right, so for articulation, head does not really go up. The f doesn't really go up. Doesn't go down side to side. It goes pretty well. And the neat thing is this hood goes with it when it moves. So that's pretty cool. Um, arms swivel 360. Single drawn elbow. Wrist swivel three. Uh, swivel 360. Don't really hinge up and down. Got an ab crunch. Uh, goes. Back that much, goes forward this much, goes back that much. Waist swivel, legs go out that far, keeps this far forward, that far back. Dome, uh, dome joint knees, and ankles go da uh, down, up, and there's a nice ankle pivot, and there's peg holes on the bottom of the feet. So, pretty good articulation. So, for being a Star Wars Black Series figure, um, Kylo Ren stands, stands a little bit under. About six and a half inches. About six, maybe a little bit under six and a half. Six and six and a half inches. But anyway, let's get some size comparison. So, so here he is uh, next to my Star Wars Black Series uh, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker and uh, Yoda. You can see here he's about the same height as uh, Darth Vader. Actually, no, he's a little bit shorter than Darth Vader, 
probably maybe closer to the same height as Luke. Yeah, he's about the, he's like the same height as Luke. Same height as Luke. You see that there? Obviously, he's just taller than Yoda. And he's a little bit shorter than DC Collectibles uh, Arkham Knight Batman. You can see here. So it won't fit in scale there, but it'll fit in scale with your Star Wars Black Series figures. So obviously, he's a lot shorter than these guys, but here he is next to my uh, Hot Toys, Days of Future Past Wolverine, my Kameek. And in turns, um, Show Fiber Catwoman, my Ryoko, my uh, Satchel Collectibles, um, Order of the Jedi, Turn of the Jedi, Jedi Knight, Luke Skywalker, Vincent, uh, Raven, Vincent Price, Real Toys, um, Satchel Collectibles, being able to go see Dracula, and Satchel Collectibles, um, Silver, Silver Screen, Phantom of the Opera. Um, you can barely see him in there. <laughs> <laughs> but he is he's a lot shorter than these guys and but I still I wanted to compare him next to this Luke just because of Star Wars, you know. And it looks pretty cool. And he's obviously a lot taller than these guys, but here he is next to some more Star Wars figures. Some of my more vintage collection, Clone Wars, um two pack uh Dark Empire, Luke Skywalker, uh Edge of the Sith, um Lightsaber Attack, Anakin Skywalker. And it's easy to watch of these guys, but again, Star Wars, so I wanted to show it off. Pretty cool. And here's another stable uh, figure comparison. Here she, here he is next to my Star Wars Episode One Phantom Menace Pamela Abdallah. As you can see, how Ren is taller. And finally, for a Marvel Legends comparison, here he is next to my Marvel Legends Rocket Raccoon Build a Figure Wave Scarlet Spider. As you can see, they are more or less. The same height, Scar Spider might be a little bit taller. So all in all, I think this is a very cool figure, and um, I recommend getting it if you can find them. If you're collecting the Star Wars Black Series, and you're a fan of the design of this character, since we don't know anything about him yet, but we are so I'm so ready. I'm sure everyone else is as well. To be seeing this movie in December, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I'm sure most people are here that are watching this video. And I'm sure you can't wait. You're as excited as I am to see this guy and Luke Skywalker and everybody returning. Um, and uh, if you can find this guy, because these are hard to come by, especially in the Force Friday, everyone would be buying them. It's been buying them out. Uh, if you can find them on Amazon, which is where I got him for under 30 bucks, which is a pretty good price. A little bit more than I wanted to pay for him, but still better than 30 bucks. And I think it's worth it. He's pretty good articulation. I like the cloth clothing. The design is awesome. Apparently, this was a. Uh, I've heard this is an early concept design for Darth Vader back back in the original trilogy. So it's kind of neat that they implemented it to a new character. And you know, still got to see if he's a Sith or the Dark Warrior. Since I've heard those rumors, he's not actually a Sith Lord. Guess we'll find out. Either way, uh, I had to get him. He was the coolest looking one. Set, uh, other than Plasma, got to get Captain Plasma as well, and a Jedi Master Luke Skywalker as well if they make one. Um, and like I said, this will fit good with your Star Wars display. Um, and I recommend them if you're a Star Wars fan. Um, anyway, this is my quick review of the uh, Star Wars Black, Black Series um, Episode 7 Force Awakens Kylo Ren figure. Hope you like it. Hope it's helpful. If you did, please hit like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Definitely appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter at Ryan Ernst Maiden. As always, my Facebook profile is going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. And may the Force be with you.